With this practice exercise, we want to first read the instructions, attempt it on your own, and then start the problem. So, assuming you did that, start the problem. We want a public static. Static is, well, at least for this specific problem, how we're doing it in this practice it. Um, you don't need to necessarily make it static. Uh, there's a whole different reason about why you should use static or when you should not use static, but we're not going to go into that here. So it can be public static or not static. If you read the instructions, you'll know we'll, we are returning an integer. So we'll have int and then price is right is our method name. We take two parameters. One is an array called bids and one is a integer called price. And then we're going to be inside of here. So we've written it, we have our parameters. We know our methods are turning the element in the bids array that is closest to the value in price. So without being larger than it, um, basically, you want to get as close as you can to this price value without going over it. If you go over it, that's bad. So don't go over it. Um, then we're just giving an example of what should happen in here. So if you think about this, this is really doing some like conditional checking, right? So inside of here, we want to return some minimum value. Let's make that. We'll have int min value, and we'll set it equal to negative 1. Now we're going to want to run through this. Whenever we have an array like this and we want to do like some kind of check or anything, you're always going to want to run through it. And the easiest way is to do a for loop because when you do a for loop, you can start at uh, the index 0 and go all the way to the length. So a is equal to the bids dot length. If, if you're having trouble kind of remembering this, an easy way to kind of format all this into your head and instead of using a is equal to zero, since you're dealing with length, start at one and then set it to less than equal to length. That's going to be the same thing as this. Inside of our for loop is where we're going to have our check. The first is we want to make sure this value is less than the one we're passed in here, right? So our the current value we're looking at, this element has to be less than or equal to our price. And we have to have the second condition. We have to make sure that our if our minimum value is less than or equal to the current element, we update it as well. So we're going to have min value is less than, we'll just do less than, we'll have bids with this index, and then inside of our if statement, we'll just have our min value updated so that it's now equal to bids with a like this. So that's going to be inside of our for loop. You don't really need this bracket since we really only have one kind of thing inside of here. Once we're done though, you might want to include it for neatness, but once we're done, we're just going to return our min value. We can close off our function and we can press submit, see what we get. And we passed five out of five tests. So we've completed this problem. That's how I would code for it. And that is all for this exercise 7.12 Price is Right.